doing a home inspection on a tar and gravel roof. There's some leaks are uh, uh, visible in this general area here over the front. If you'll notice the different color aggregates that are available where you see darkened and uh, different uh, uh, light colors. There's a lot of black uh, asphalt showing through. You can see here that there have been a lot of repairs at the eave edges. You can see that they're uh, approximately one foot back from the metal eave. There is a uh, height differential the further back from the eave. It's at least a half to three quarters of an inch difference. And if you notice the color differential as well as the ash. Been a number of different repairs throughout the whole uh, roof system. And uh, this has a low slope roof. And over the carport area, there's also some um, repairs that have been made. Here you can see in this area that the metal eave drip, the gravel stop water is being retained there as well. Um, you can see the difference of stepping down onto the carport. There appears to be a separation in the metal flashing, which can lead to water intrusion. Here you can see the asphalt's gooped up over the gravel stop. Looking more here at the eave edge on the corner you can see water ponding it's not able to get over the gravel stop there's a couple locations over the carport area that have that condition here you can see the different color aggregate looks like a flood coat coat was applied to it with the aggregate the sun will break down the uh, membrane, the aggregate, the asphalt lead to cracking, which will further lead to for future leaking. Here on the opposite corner of the carport, you can see that a lot of water is being retained, whereas the gravel stop is at a higher elevation than the field. It may take some time. You can also see here in the middle of the field, because of the depressions in the roof, that water is being retained. Looking further down the carport, the front edge, you can see the difference in the aggregate. Getting back up on the main roof, it's two TV dishes that are mounted. Um, the way it appears the way they're attached they're not inside pitch pans which can lead to leaking here I'm on the back side of the home and you can see multiple repairs that have been made and here we also see where water is being retained it appears that repairs have been made the whole way around the perimeter in a number of locations here again you can see the difference in the aggregate size and color which indicates repairs see a lot of places are darkened where the aggregate is washed off where they have not been embedded into it for the repairs Looking here, walking towards the left side, you can also see the repairs that were done. Here is a repair on the left rear portion where you could see a repair was recently done. You can see that the membrane, the sheets, and the aggregate size and differential. It's quite a large area underneath the tree area. Here's a large tree with a lot of overhanging branches that could have fallen onto the tr onto the roof and caused damage. This flat roof, low slope roof, has two skylights. They're not raised up on a curb. You can see that recent repairs have been made around the skylight areas and also near the, the ridge bear area, which is about a 112 pitch.
it appears that the roof is near the end of its life. 